Should you mix XLR and RCA cables together? Mm -hmm. Well, this question comes from Michael in Stevens Point, Wisconsin. And Michael writes, hey Paul, I'm two days into my EAT diet. Oh good! So for those of you that don't know, the EAT diet is a book I wrote on dieting. I am, am, am much more svelte. I lost 20, 23 pounds using this technique, which will work for anyone. You can, you can lose whatever weight you want. You can eat anything you want. Just have to control how much. And uh, it's called the EAT diet. And it, it, it works. It truly works. So anyway, y you can buy it on, on Amazon, the EAT diet. Uh, and I'm using my curiosity to get through the first few days. And th they are. The first two or three days are tough. And everything else is a breeze. Um, so I thought uh, now might be a good time to ask some questions. You got it, sir. Uh, I'm a 48-year-old truck driver and hope to build my first ever good two-channel stereo system in 2021. Yes! Nicely done. I love it. He's got a goal. He's going to get in there and he's going to get after it. Um, I'm probably going to be mixing old and new equipment. I already have decent tower speakers, a subwoofer, and a nice Sony ES CD player. Uh, it cost me $2,500 about 15 years ago. I'll bet that's a nice one. I'm about to take the plunge into the front end of the system and probably should know this before going further. Does XLR have its benefits reduced or negated if there are RCA cables in the mix? Well, let's, let's clear the cruft away and uh, just start with some, some basics here. XLR cables on equipment that is uh, designed properly is the best way to go. So an XLR cable is a balanced cable and it uses something called common mode rejection to reject anything in common that comes in like uh, noise, hum, that comes in through the cable. So if I have, here, here's this, so here's an XLR cable and you can see it, this kind of the end on here, right? That has three conductors if you can, you can see, right? So those three conductors ground, plus, and minus uh, are the essence of a balanced signal. So the ground we know is the shield, a separate uh, you know, place, a starting point, and everything above that is a signal, electrically above that. And so in a balanced signal you have your plus and your minus, which means they're out of phase. So as one signal is going up, the other is going down, so they do this seesaw sort of thing between the two. And if this cable gets near uh, a piece of equipment or gets near a humming transformer and that hum goes into this cable, the balanced nature of this will eliminate the hum and you never hear it or hiss or whatever. So balance is a good way to go and it sounds great on proper equipment, balanced in, balanced out. Okay. An RCA cable, a single-ended cable, doesn't have that ability. So here's where you want to be. XLR if you can, but in Michael's place, he's got a piece of vintage gear that maybe he's going to go to some new gear. So you certainly don't want to go from a balanced output on this piece of gear to a single-ended input over here because you'll lose all the benefits of it. So just make sure that it's balanced to balanced or RCA to RCA and you'll probably be okay. So I imagine, for example, that your Sony, the one that you paid 2500 bucks for how many years ago, that likely doesn't have a balanced output. Uh, maybe it does, but let's just say it doesn't. And that's okay. Just put that into the preamp, uh, into its single-ended input, and then you just have to be careful about the laying of cables and making sure that you're not going to get hum and noise introduced from outside sources, and you'll be, you'll be just fine. But in the future, as you move forward, try and buy equipment that has balanced out and balanced in because balanced is the best way to go. And good luck in losing the weight. And thanks for buying my book. 
and have fun. I am just excited as hell for you to, to have an opportunity, a goal, something in 2021 that you're going to go out and make some great music in your home. Go get them, Tiger. All right. Thanks for the, for the, uh, thanks for the question, and I'll, uh, I'll talk to you tomorrow.